Hello and welcome to the sports segment on PTV Prime Time News tonight. I am Wally Cole. Hotland Football Club of Owerri are back in the Nigerian Professional Football League NPFL. One year after they were relegated to the Nigerian National League NNL, the Nays Millions beat First Bank of Lagos 1 0 in a March Day 33 fixture played at the Agege Stadium on Wednesday to emerge champions of their conference of the NNL. With one game to spare, Hotland finished top of the Southern Conference bubble with 60 points from 31 games. Five points ahead of second place by Elsa United, who also beat Papilo FC 1-0. The league management company SFC has already congratulated the already club on the feet. A tweet from their official handle read, Congratulations at Heartland NG. Welcome back to the NPFL. Super Eagles Ansibastor of Turkey defender Elder Sin Echejele has been rolled out of a month due to an injury sustained during Nigeria's World Cup qualifier against the Chipolopolo of Zambia in Oyo last weekend. The left back, who was stretched off the 76 minutes of the encounter after going down from a coalition with a Zambia player, is now expected to miss Sivaspor next three games, including the Super Eagles' last World Cup qualifying games against the Desert Foxes of Algeria in Algiers next month. The former Monaco defender is currently the most experienced defender in the Eagles setup and is one of the only four surviving players from the last season Super Eagles squad that went to the World Cup in Brazil with John Miguel Obi, Ahmed Musa and Ogeni Onazi, the other three players. The injury will mean Super Eagles debutant Ola Aina is now expected to earn his first full match against the Northern African nation. Pakistan have been suspended from international football because of what world governing body FIFA described as undue third party interference in the country's football federation PFF. FIFA said in a statement on Wednesday that the suspension will prevent Pakistani teams, including the national side, playing in international competition and the PFF from benefiting from FIFA development and training programs. FIFA said the PFF offices and its accounts remain in control of a court appointment administrator which constitutes a violation of the PFF obligations to manage its affairs independently and without influence from any third parties in accordance with the FIFA statutes. The suspension will be lifted once the PFF offices and access to the PFF accounts are returned to the PFF. Disgraced former FIFA Secretary General Jeremy Vartey claims his reputation has been wrecked by his 10-year ban from football. The Frenchman, who is 57 years old, was speaking after appearing at the Court of Arbitration for Sports, where he is appealing for the punishment to be overturned. Vaki, previously seen as one of the few good guys in former FIFA president Sepp Blatter's corrupt empire, was banned after being found guilty of misconduct over the sale of World Cup tickets, abuse of travel expenses and use of private jets, attempting to sell TV rights below their market value and destruction of evidence. After being sacked in January 2016, he was banned from football for 12 years, but that was reduced to 10 years after FIFA's appeal committee. Finally, in sports tonight, former World Player of the Year Lois Figa has joined UEFA as a football advisor. The 44-year-old former Portugal star will work with UEFA President Alexander Stefani and UEFA's football division. Figo joins former Germany midfielder Nadine Kessler and ex serbia midfielder Dijan Stankovic who started working at UEFA as football advisors earlier this year. During his 20-year playing career, which also included spells at Real Madrid and Inter Milan, Figo won eight league titles and the Champions League. UEFA president Alexander Seffrin said Luis Figo was a fantastic player who was an example in the way he conducted himself both on and off the pitch. And that's all we have for sports tonight. I am Wally Cole.